I have uh, read this analysis of the tree of life, which you often present. And the first time you spoke it, and I heard from you in this Radha Gopna temple, it struck me very much at how holistic and balanced it was. So I thought based on that model, we could discuss on the topic of uh, the self-care and chanting in spiritual, in, in our devotional growth or in our growth in life. So maybe if you want, you could, uh, this, the tree of life, this is a metaphor that you read somewhere or you, or you were inspired by, or you read and then you developed it uh, in the contemporary setting. Because it's a very striking metaphor. Yeah. Um, uh, uh, metaphor wants to express that just like a tree has roots, a trunk, and a crown, a healthy human being must have spiritual roots, a spiritual practice. He must have, as, as a trunk of his life, the way he stands in the world, uh, physical and emotional well-being, and he must also, like the tree, have a crown from where he contributes uh, his uh, social uh, well-being, uh, where he's useful. Uh, the metaphor uh, came uh, really from two sources. I think we all know the Upanishadic uh, analogy Mm, of of uh, upside of down tree. yeah 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 that is uh, that refers to the world this world is a is a reflected tree <laughs> like you said an upside down tree the upside banyan tree but in this tree like world the human being is a small tree <laughs> uh, oh, okay. uh, uh, in the in the body mm, and there, uh, the Upanishads, uh, the Bhagavatam says, uh, there is a nest. Mm, or oh no, there, is a, there are two birds in the yes. tree of life. The individual soul and okay. the super soul. One okay, okay, enjoys okay. the fruits and uh, the other is just watching. Oh, okay. So, so the idea that our human body is like a tree came from this Bhagavatam and uh, how do you say, uh, and, and Upanishadic example, but it is a creative example. It is something I made up in order to take the wisdom of, uh, the, of, of our scriptures and make it relevant for practical application. Oh, okay. Yes, I know I, that tree example is very striking in terms of what you said. There are three aspects. There is the, we could say the inner and then the personal and the social, to put it that way, in one sense, the body and mind. So quite often, there is the conception that uh, spiritual life itself will solve all problems. That we, Prabhupada is attributed to have said, especially based on his conversation with his spiritual master, first conversation, that Krishna consciousness itself is the solution to all problems. So when we say that our spiritual foundation refers to uh, one aspect of the tree, is it that uh, then is it that uh, our chanting or our devotional practices themselves will take care of the other aspects of the tree? Or is it that... Uh, we need to broaden our understanding of Krishna consciousness. That Krishna consciousness is not just chanting, but even taking care of uh, taking care of a physical and mental, emotional well-being. That is also within the ambit of Krishna consciousness. Mm -hmm. Yes, thank you for this uh, necessary question. Um, and how much uh, does a spiritual person have to take care of the body and mind and? and his uh, relationship to others. Um, as, as long as we are in the material world, we have to be active in a parallel uh, way. One uh, area in which we act is our um, spiritual well-being, but then we have a body, 
we are now uh, with this vehicle, the material uh, body, and we have to also take care of the vehicle so that we reach our ultimate goal, uh, Krishna consciousness. Um, uh, that's why uh, Srila Prabhupada was thinking of introducing uh, next to the philosophy and the sadhana, um, also Varnashram in our society. Uh, Varnashram is a structure in which uh, each individual member has uh, some physical well-being in terms of his safety, his income, his food, his chapatis. Uh, mm. he, and he, uh, he will find also, uh, all the other human needs set, uh, fulfilled in the Vanashram uh, uh, system. Uh, Prabhupada, uh, uh, in order to bring the relevance uh, of Vanashram to our attention, says it is meant to stabilize the shaking position in the world. Uh, we are not oh, yet okay. in the spiritual world. We need some support so that we are in this world uh, stabilized and, and safe and uh, so on. So they need to be done parallel. However, this is very important right at the outset. You need, just like when you go somewhere with a car, you need to take care of the car, but you always at all times need to have your goal in mind. Otherwise, your car might take you somewhere where you don't even wish to go. Um, so uh, self-care in itself is not uh, 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 sufficient. You need mm -hmm. to combine it with the goal of life uh, uh, so that you take care of your vehicle, uh, of your body and mind uh, in order to reach the spiritual world. 